Hi everybody. You know who it is. It's Crystal. So I have a yarn unboxing today. Actually, I'm going to do two together at once because they're both really small. One's from AlliumBrandYarns.com and the other one is from Joann's.com. Um, so some of them have new yarn in them that I've never seen. Excited. Some of them have old yarn that I've seen, but I wanted to get more because I have some projects in mind. If you guys want to see, let's do Lion Brand and Joann's first. I'll just do Lion Brand because it's on top. So this is from Lion Brand website, lionbrand.com. I am not affiliated with Lion Brand, nor am I affiliated with Joann's, nor am I affiliated with any yarn company. I am an independent run yarn, uh, independent run yarn channel. So I do not have affiliated links for either one of these places. I bought both of these at both of these places with my own money. And like I said, no affiliated links so I don't get paid if you buy the yarn. I don't care if you buy the yarn. I'm not pushing yarn on anybody. I don't care. It does not matter to me if you buy it. My job on this channel is to only educate people about yarns. Part of it. And then the other parts, tutorials. And then whatever else I put on. Teaching people to crochet. Uh, yarn. Lots of yarn talk. A lot of people like yarn talk. Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop. I drink a lot of caffeine. You know that. You can tell. Everybody always says, I can tell when you drink caffeine because you can't quit talking. It's true. I can't. I just talk and talk and talk and I never shut up. Well, let's see what we got here from Lion Brand. Okay. I have never had this before. And I'm going to open her up. See what it's about. It's, I don't even think it's new. I just never had had it. So this is called a Lion Brand Turnstiles. Well, let's check. Let's read over it. Let me find my invoice here so I can tell you what stuff cost. Everybody wants to know what stuff cost. And I can't say that I blame you. I'd want to know too. Okay, the Turnstiles is... Let's read it. 48% acrylic, 34% wool, 18% polyamide. It says one ball will make a hat, two balls will make a scarf, and eight balls will make a sweater. It is classified as a bulky five. That is a thicker bulky five on the verge of a thin, uh, super bulky six. But... I like bulky yarn. Bulky five is my favorite. If you know me, you know bulky five is my favorite. I love bulky five. 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, 109 yards, and 100 meters. Recommended hook size for knitters is six and a half. Crocheters, a nine millimeter. Okay. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. Let's see if we can find one this bad boy's made. Everybody wants to know that. Made in Italy. Nice. Okay, so let's look it over. Now it is a fuzzy yarn. Oh, the color I have in my hand is called a delphinium, like the flower. Okay, um, so this is what it looks like. It's got a black strand that runs, actually it's like a chain spun black strand that runs through it. And then it has fuzz all the way down it. Um, yeah, it's a bulky five. It's a thicker bulky five, but it's a bulky five. The colors are pretty. It does appear to be variegated. It's not striped. So the difference between the, the stripes and the variegated is stripes have a long variegation. So you can control where you, if you want to, you can color control. Um, you, where your stripes go, variegation is a lot harder to color control because they have short stripes in them. The stripes appear on, or the, the, the color changes appear to be about three inches on this. Okay, so overall feel, very scarfable. It, you know, it's, it's floofy. Floofy, I like that word. I use it quite a bit at home. I always say stuff's floofy. 
it's Midwest talk, I think. I don't know. Some of you Midwest people are like, no, that's not Midwest talk. That's just bag of day talk. Yes, yes, it might just very well be floofy as bag of day talk. But I use floofy around the house and my kids use it too. Anyways, it is, it is nice and soft, you know. Definitely you can make a scarf out of that. That's very scarfable. And I see myself making, look at that, something similar to that. Not, you know, I don't use people's patterns. I make it my own. But a nice cowl with this would be very, very pretty. Um, 109 yards for uh, 6.59, I believe. Um, a little on high side, uh, in my opinion, 109 yards. It is thicker. It does require a bigger crochet hook, so you know you won't get a lot out or you'll get more out of it with a thicker crochet hook. It's not too bad overpriced. It is an acrylic wool blend, which is nice. And it does say one hat will make, or one ball will make a hat, which I truly believe that. And I think two will make a scarf. So I got plenty here to make a hat and a scarf set. Um, but you know, I always say wait for a sale. So do I like this? I think it's cool. I do think it's gonna be a yarn that if you mess up, you're gonna have a hard time taking it out so make sure it looks like it's gonna tangle up like no other could be wrong on that but this is my general assessment but yeah it's not bad i like it i'll have to crochet something with it to, to be able to tell if i'll really like it enough to be a repeat customer or i'll do a more formal review so far the colors are really pretty though so that was one that was one i never tried before i like it so, I have had ice cream yarn before, but they had new colors. Lion Brand ice cream. Pretty? It's pretty. Now, if you're not familiar with Lion Brand ice cream yarn, it's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 394 yards, 100% acrylic, or 360 meters. It is classified as a lightweight three, which would be its only downfall for me because I'm more of a uh, four weight, bulky five, six weight type of person. But it is, it is, it is a lightweight three. It's about perfect for that. You know, it's a nice soft acrylic, good for baby, good for baby blankets, good for baby articles. Um, I do like the ice cream yarn, and I have used it before. It's nothing new. They just had new colors. That's why I wanted to try it. The color of this one is called Pistachio, and it is made in Turkey. Um, did I tell you the washing instruction? Machine wash and dryable. I forgot that on this one. I'm sorry. The turnstiles, unless I did, I can't remember. It's lay, hand wash and lay flat, of course. I knew that would be the case. But this one is machine wash and dryable. So, you know, not a new yarn. They did have new colors. Check it out in case you're interested. The ice cream pistachio runs $5 or $4.99. Um, a skein on lionbrand.com. I don't know um, if you can find it other places cheaper. I think I might have seen it on Joann's. I don't know the price, though. There are new colors on Joann's. I don't remember the price of that, but that was something new. And, of course, this is not new to me, but this is uh, tied for my number one favorite yarn. I love this yarn. Mandela Roving. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. It is is gorgeous look at that if you guys aren't familiar with mandala roving you gotta try it out you gotta try it out if you love roving yarns you will love mandala roving now um it's not new like i said i have made a bunch of tutorials with this well you know quite a few uh shawl poncho i you know i can't remember i made quite a few because it's a gorgeous yarn um it became my number one favorite. It's tied with Red Heart Unforgettable. You know, and this might be ahead of it. It's a very nice yarn. So it says one ball will make a scarf, which I think more than one ball. I think this ball will make more. I think it'll make a scarf and a hat. Um, that's my assessment as, as far as crocheting with it. It will make more than one. One scarf will make, or one ball will make more than a scarf. 
So it's 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 415 yards, 380 meters, 100% acrylic, machine wash, lay flat to dry. Made in China, lightweight number three. Now it says that it's a lightweight number three. I always consider the Mandela roving to be a four weight because with all roving style yarns, you know, they have the tendency to go from thick to thin. That's the nature of the yarn. But I always consider that to be more of a four weight. And you would probably agree with me on that. You know, if you judge your weights just by looking at them, some people judge them all different ways. I always go, I can just look at it. That's how I judge. I consider it a four weight. That's always what I have considered. And 415 yards, Mandela roving runs, uh, $7.99 on, on their website. Um, I always wait for a sale, but I do know that they do sell this at Joann's, so if you have coupons, you can get it there. But if you have not tried this, I highly recommend it. I've never done a review on this, but I can tell you it is my favorite yarn. Tied with Red Heart Unforgettable super nice yarn and the thing about i like about the roving is the colors they always come the same the centers always match which makes for if you do color control your projects with these long stripes they have five different color stripes it makes it easy to control because the centers are always the same i have bought so much roving yarn and the centers they they make them all the same so that's super uh right on the lion brand for doing that because i think that i always hate it when centers don't match i don't know if that's just my thing but i don't like it but this is nice mandala roving oh the color i have here is called, called tartan the reason why i got this is because this is the only color that I haven't made anything out of yet. I have made stuff out of all the other colors except for this one. So I'm going to make something out of that. And I got one more in here that up from Lion Brand that I haven't tried yet. I don't even think it's new. I think they got some new colors, but I've never had it. So it's a tape yarn. Lion Brand Rewind Tape Yarn. Um... One ball will make a hat, one ball will make a scarf, one, four balls will make a sweater. It's very soft, like polyester-y filling. 70% polyester, 30% viscose. Machine wash, lay flat. Bulky number five. I can see, though, it does look like, you know, it's a flat tape yarn. Um, these aren't really my favorite type of yarn. But when you put them on a hook, they do scrunch up. And I could see how they would classify that as a bulky five. I would agree with that. So 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 219 yards, 200 meters, bulky five, machine wash, lay flat, made in China. The color I have here is called a waterfall. I thought that was, it's a new color. I thought it was very pretty. Now, what I make with this would have to take a very special project. It would need to be probably a bag of some sort or some type of a lightweight garment, like as you can see on the front. Um, there are many different kinds of tape yarn. Some are very heavy and some are very lightweight. This is a very lightweight, uh, almost micro fill, very thin filling, micro fill, soft tape yarn. And it would make a great garment, as you can see. They probably have a pattern for that on their website. What I do with mine, I don't know. Um, a garment could be possible, or a bag. Those would be the two things that I do with it. So the Rewind runs uh, $5.99 a ball, um, and I at lionbrand.com. Um, I do know they do have this at Joann's. Also, whether it's cheaper or not. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, you'd have to check it out. But I don't. I don't think that's too bad of a price, considering it is very soft. Very. It feels like microfiber. So I like this one a lot. So I like everything that I got from Lion Brand today. Um, this one is. Uh, I, I do like it. I like the way it feels. It's super cool. I'll have to make something with it and check it out. But the stitches you can't you won't be able to use any defining stitches because it'll just get lost so probably something super basic as far as stitch wise goes but it's the yarn 
that's going to make the pattern look good not the stitches for this type of yarn the the uh, turnstiles i'll see what i can come up with for that okay so that's all i got from lion brand now this is from joann's now i had mentioned that i ordered something from joann's and it was delivered to new jersey for some reason i don't know why i emailed them and i looked today and it still says delivered in new jersey maybe this is it maybe they just got messed up on the delivery app i have no idea Regardless, I just hope this is, is what I what, what I ordered. Because I don't think, yeah, there's nothing else that I ordered, I don't think, from Joann's that I can remember. Joann's really isn't my first place to go for yarn, but. Oh yeah, it's what I ordered. So, the, the uh, FedEx app was wrong when they said they delivered it to New Jersey. It's actually delivered at my house, and I'm excited. Now, there's only two different kinds of yard in here, okay? One of them I've shown before, and the other one is new, and I was so stoked when I saw it on their website. I had to get it. I had to get it. Why do I have a skein without a label? I hate getting skeins without labels. If you guys watch me, you know that is my biggest pet peeve, not to have a label. Why would Joanne send me a skein without a label? I paid full price for this because they won't give me 20% off unless I go to their store and pick it up, which is pointless because it's over an hour away. I have to pay full price for this and they can't even put a label on it. It's disappointing. It is. Anyways, there's no label on the box. There's ripped labels. That's why Joann's is my least favorite yarn store. Anyways. This is the date night, which I've already talked about before. I really like this yarn. I've done a review. I gave it like a 9.5 out of 10. It's super nice. Now this is the color pink. If you guys are new to it, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 273 yards, 250 meters. It's 82 acrylic, 18 polyester, medium weight number four, which it is. Um, machine wash, tumble dry, made in China. The color I have is called Morganite. I think that's right. Now, I like it because the sparkle on this, the bling on this is tremendous. It's probably got the most bling out of any yarn that I've seen in a long time. My camera may not pick it up. Now, I do have a tutorial. I made a hat um, out of a blue for Lion Brand's Hat Not Hate campaign. Um, so, you can check it out. But, I enjoyed working with it. I had no problem working with it. And, it's an extremely nice yarn. So I wanted to get, I got three skeins of the pink because I'm going to make Evelyn um, something with this. And that's why I got the pink. I'm still kind of a little, I don't know what you say. I'm not mad, but like disappointed when yarn companies send me yarn without labels. I don't understand that. It's, some people will disagree with me. That's cool. Everybody can disagree. But. I'm not one for buying yarn. I'm not one for getting yarn without labels or ripped up labels. What if I wouldn't have bought these two and I never had this before? I mean, it should have a label on it. Oh, well. Okay, so now I got one more in here. And I don't know. This is how it comes. The label's ripped up. Anyways. This was new. I'm excited about this one. Now, this is called Comfy Cotton, Comfy Cotton Fetty. I like their regular Comfy Cotton. I think it's a very nice yarn, and I've used it quite a bit, and I still use it to this day. I got plenty, I mean, you know, I use it for tutorials. So, it's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 350 yards, 320 meters, 50 acrylic, 50 cotton. So, it's a 50-50 acrylic cotton blend. Lightweight number three. That's a thin three. That's like their mandala. It's a thin three. Mm. So it says it's machine washable and dryable. Um, where are you made? Tell me where you're made. Made in China. So. The color I have here is called Green Velvet. It's a gorgeous yarn. It's soft. It feels 
like an acrylic cotton blend. You know, I would make Evelyn a dress out of it or a baby blanket out of it, scarf out of it, top out of it, anything like that of the sorts. Now, wait a minute. Wait a second here. Let me look at something. What did I discover? I discovered nothing. <laughs> I thought I discovered something. So, you can see, here's the end of it. The strands are open. So it's a very thin number three, like a mandala number three. It could almost be a two, between a two and a three. It's very unfortunate. I was hoping it would be like a thicker three, like the regular coffee cotton is. And it appears that it's, uh, it's wound very loosely and it looks like it could be a splitter. Not guaranteeing that, but by the looks of it, I think myself would have trouble with the yarn splitting because it comes apart so easily. Look at that. The strands just, it's not wound tight at all. Okay, so although this yarn is very, very pretty and it's very soft, it's very lightweight. I was a little disappointed at the weight class, but they, it's very thin for a three, like, almost a two, like I said. Um, and the strands are very, very lightly strong. They are come up, they're going to come apart, I can tell, you know, unless you have some type of super special hook that, you know, keeps yarn together. You can just see it coming apart. On, it should have been wound tighter and it should have been thicker, in my opinion. But I still like it. It's still a very nice yarn. It's very pretty. See that? Very pretty. The color I at, what I tell you, is called green velvet. Now, I... They didn't give me no uh, sheet. Just a second. I gotta look it up. Okay, right now at the making of this video, it's 5.39 a skein. I think it's on sale too. Um, so 5.39, 350 yards of a very, very extremely light, light, lightweight three that really looks like it's just gonna fall apart when you crochet with it. It's soft, like it says, soft and it's gorgeous. Let me show you the other colors I got. Um, very, very pretty again. It's super squishy. I mean, it's it's a nice yarn. It's just so unfortunate that it's so thin and that it wasn't wound tighter. What the heck? This one says date night. Here's the label to my date night on this skein of yarn. Okay, Joann's. Okay. I'm not so mad at you now. Obviously, the label came off and a customer just stuck it on this yarn. It's okay. I'm going to I'm going to let that pass. At least I got my label. There we go. Now I'm happy. Thank you Joanne's for including the label even though <laughs> I'm like date night. That looks different. Okay. So the color of this one is called orange blossom. It's very pretty. You know, I had intentions. That's about the right color right there. It's very true to color when I back it up a little bit from the camera and the light don't pick it up very well. Okay, and this one I had intentions on making um, something super cool for Evelyn with it because she loves rainbow colors, like, and pink and purple. She's really girly. She's tomboy princess. That's what I call her. Anyways, um, I think that that one's very pretty too. That's about true. If I put it up too close it brightens it too much but back here that's about true to color this one was my favorite color that they had and this was called fun fetty i like the yarn i do um the way it feels is very nice and soft the colors are very very pretty i do not like how thin it is and i do not like how it's spun so loose that it's going to come apart on you and it's i can tell i can just tell that it's going to give you trouble when you crochet with it i don't like to use yarns like that that give me a lot of trouble but sometimes if the yarn is pretty enough it's worth it now this is a very pretty yarn but it being coming apart and being so thin if you know me you know i don't like thin yarns I'm going to make something with it. Gosh, it's so thin. It is so thin. It's thinner than Mandela. That is a thin, thin three-weight yarn. That should be a two. 
very misclassified on that in my opinion you know that's just my member these are all my own personal opinions okay you don't have to agree with me you like thin yarns this is pretty it's pretty the collars are pretty and they got those flex of collars throughout them very very pretty colors all the colors that they had and this comfy cotton fetty yarn were gorgeous like i said this fun fetty was my favorite of all of them but these two were very pretty also um but the fact of the matter remains it's very misclassified as far as the weight my opinion though remember opinions differ among people it's spun extremely loose i think that it's going to give me trouble when i work with it but i'm going to give it a try i'll give it a formal review i'll crochet a test swatch you never know until so you never know if you're going to like it until you crochet with it so you know what so most of the time i'm a pretty good judge on yarn that this is not going to be for me despite how pretty it is but i will give it a fair fair trial and see because I'm not unfair to yarn, you know? I'm not unfair to it. I'll give it a go. I'll give all yarn a go. Um, I had high hopes for this. I really did. I really thought it was going to be like their regular comfy cotton, you know? Um, nice, thick three weight, held together nicely. Now, it's soft like their other comfy cotton, but this just isn't doing it for me. The yardage is 350 yards because I it's so thin. I like I, I like the collars. Um, other than that, I'll have to wait till my when I crochet with it to tell you anymore. But that's it. That's all I got. Joanne, I apologize that I got upset with you about the label missing. I see that your uh, boxers just put it on a different um, scheme. I did get a rip label, but I can I can tape it. I, I'll live with that. I don't like rip labels, but I can live with it. So that's it. That's my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm making something for Evelyn out of this. I'm going to wait, though, probably till next week, considering I did just make her a dress. If you guys have not seen that dress, you should make it. Even if you don't have a little girl to make it for, you should just make it for the sake of fun and games or to donate it if you have the time. It's super cute look for that on my youtube channel i just put this on a you know uh it's my it's video 701 701 that's how many tutorials i have at the making of this video but this video will be on for a long time so you might be watching it two years later and i could have a thousand videos but anyways thank you all for watching this unboxing i'm not unhappy with anything that i got um i was most excited <laughs> I was most excited about this one, and I'll have to say it ended in me being the least excited about it, only because the weight was misclassified, in my opinion, and the not being spun tight. But I'll get, I like I said, I'll give it a go. But everything else is pretty cool that I got. I like all of it. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, most of you will, some of you won't. I appreciate a thumbs up. You give me a thumbs down. <sighs> It's okay. I'll still be able to sleep at night. But I will appreciate I do appreciate the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe because I don't just do unboxings and yarn reviews. Although I do a lot of those because those are people's favorites. I do lots of crochet tutorials, a lot, you know, lots of them. Um, so if you look over there to the right hand side of the screen, I'm gonna put a playlist of all my crochet tutorials. Hundreds of them. Anything you could want is there and multiples of them so check it out um if you get time look through it um see if you see anything you might want to make if you are a knitter i have half the people that watch me are knitters and they don't even crochet they watch for the yarn that's cool because i like to talk yarn with people in case you didn't notice i got lots of yarn videos too check out my playlist i got lots of unboxings and yarn reviews and shopping trips and anything to suit any yarnies and needs thank you everybody for watching i always appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch my videos it means a lot to me when you watch them um that's all i could ever ask is that you watch my videos thank you again and 
look for some reviews on a couple of these yarns. I'll do more formal reviews on those, especially that comfy cotton fetty. I'm curious now. I might check it out here in a minute and see how see if it's better than what I think. It very well could be. Um, so that's it. I will see you guys on my next video, whatever that might be. Bye-bye, everybody.